Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, and good day to everybody, and welcome Raiders! Stay true. I hope you all have had a lovely day so far, whatever it is you've been doing, even if, like day, you woke up all of maybe an hour ago, tops. <laughs> Which, valid. Sleep, sleep good. Sleep good, I don't get enough of it. Stay true. <laughs> I hope you all had a productive time with all the writing sprints or just general productivity sprints because we all know that <laughs> I'm sandwiched on either side most days by people doing like productive stuff like sprints and then you come to my stream and productivity comes to die here <laughs> I am the, uh, I am the, this is where we just, we just go. Things happen. I do not control it. Even though I am ostensibly in control. Why is that open? Oh, no. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. So I hope you all had a better time. Because now it is time, once again, to pretend that I know anything about, uh, military pacts of any kind. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's fun. It's just not productive. <laughs> that that's that's the key bit, because everyone on either side of me is both fun and productive. <laughs> I haven't quite gotten to that point yet. I'll, I'm working on it, and by working on it, I mean I'm absolutely not. This started off as a productive stream. It swiftly ceased to be. Uh, <laughs> well, I think that like the last, I think the summer come some of the summer camp streams were productive because there was a time crunch. But now I am unbound by the laws of time. And so, yeah, <laughs> work and no play. No, well, I mean, this is all play and no work makes, I don't know the name of the sentence. Shit, is it Johnny? <laughs> is it Johnny a dull boy? <laughs> makes Isaac not dull? <laughs> I guess. That's how that sentence goes. About 2,595 words. That is a lot. That is very good. I was meant to do homework before the stream started, and then I didn't. So, I was like, well, shit. <laughs> I have an entire, like, fake query letter to write, and I'm like, I, I, mm, no. No, I'm not doing that. Hello, Tellers. Hello, everybody. I'm sorry, I, I usually don't greet individually, but hello, everybody. <laughs> So we're back here. I don't think I've actually done anything since the last stream. <laughs> Which is awkward, because I should try and get more done, but I think I was on the the idea of, oh, you know, I'll, um, I'll do Jack. Okay, Jack. So, I was having difficulty because I couldn't remember what it was from. <laughs> and I'm sitting there going, it starts with J, right? Shit. <laughs> I did see prompt three, three. I did, but I'm not. I'm not even gonna attempt to start it until I, until I get um, the magic article done, which is going to take a while because, oh boy, my notes in that article are a mess, and I don't even know where to start yet. <laughs> I mean, I know where to start, but like, it's a, it's a process. <laughs> There's bits going on. <laughs> that I need to figure out about it, because I want to actually have a magic system that, like, there's at least it, some, like, structure to it, unlike the one in T.U. Amara, which is just... I think it's cool. <laughs> so I need to actually do it, and, uh, I literally had the idea during the announce... No, hold on, was it? No, Kahuna Quiet yesterday. I was doing edits during the Kahuna Quiet yesterday. And then that was when I came up with the, oh, the crystals have elements, and then that was it. That was all I got <laughs> in the hour that I was in Kahuna's stream yesterday. Which was at 3am, uh, in my defense. It was at 3am. But we're not doing magic yet. Unless I finish the structure part of this article in like 20 minutes, I'm not going to. But in the hypothetical, if the, if the structure part of the Northwest Pact is finished before like, you know, midnight, I might go and do the magic article. We'll, we'll see. Because one thing... Oh, I, need to, I should actually have the Alliance Challenge open, so I can keep reading it. Mm. I'm gonna find a two Chris template. I've got about a dozen critters loaded up. Nice! The... Oh, the template's there. <laughs> They're all so good. 
It's like, wow, all those blocks. And I don't even understand any of them. They're all a mystery. Oh, now now I think about it, I should be using one of them so I can keep track of my D&D &D character. Damn it. Shit. <laughs> now I need to go figure out how RPGs work. No. Boo. Oh, boo for reminding me that we have template, like block templates I can use. Okay, so currently in the Northwest Pact, I've written the history, which is I think not that many words, only about 600 words, I think. It's not my longest history, it's still pretty long, but it isn't my longest history, which is saying something about me, but I'm not sure what. And I don't want to think about it. And I want to do self-reflection. Um, and then I have a brief bit of the members, but I probably should put the members in the structure part, even though I think the sidebar looks really cool. Maybe I should not have this, these little blurbs, just have the flags, and then also then expand on them in structure. That might be better. I did make very quick notes, like, just before the stream started, of like, ah, yes, the other two, who exist. Because when I made my notes originally, there were only four members, but now there are two ex-members. Which, actually, no, this did happen after the stream. Hold on. <laughs> I kept working after Tuesday's stream to get more of the history done. I think we got up to, like, here-ish? I, I actually don't remember. We were somewhere in the history talking about how, like, you know, there's there's a Dwavia and they got attacked by Kuoviana, and so they made the pact. Woo! They made the pact. And then there was a bit down here where there's actually two entire separate members who joined later. So there's the four on... There's the four main ones, which I've written about here. There's, like, there's the, the big founder, there's an elf monarchy, a, a different monarchy that is m not majority elven and then there's a republic down south but then i added two extra members who have already left so they joined and then they left and i've put them down here as well so you can tell when they left like there's the founder date which is up here and then i've also put like Lethusi joined afterwards so they have theirs and then next one who joined was glinzu chul which then left later and then uh, Ukabuyad joined and then left in quick succession. <laughs> yeah, we're all like, prompt 3 is gonna be crazy. We're still working on prompt 2. Ah. And that's, that's only if I do only one article for magic, because I, I ideally, like, <laughs> I should probably have the, the article about the big crystal that's the important one. So that's two articles for prompt 2. I'm like, ah, shit. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> ah, toast. Yeah, toast. Toast is good. Toast is good. I have toast, like, every single day because it's what I eat for breakfast. Toast is good. I do miss non-toast breakfast, but unfortunately I loathe light milk, so I can't eat, like, cereal because <laughs> it all wants milk, and I'm like, okay... But the only milk we have in the house is disgusting. This is unfortunate. <laughs> and so I just have toast. Which may explain a lot of things about me, this <laughs> person. It's like, ah, yes. We're literally only gonna eat toast for breakfast. For like, f oh shit. I'm not gonna say how many years. That's gonna disappoint me, right? If I say how many years. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Shredded wheat with hot water and butter. Ooh. That sounds quite nice. Everyone has all these good ideas for food, and now I'm going to be hungry again. <laughs> I really shouldn't have themed my channel stuff around toast, because then it's just food all the time. I'm like, damn it. Yeah, but that's disgusting, Day. Like, I'm not going to put water on my wheat bix. That's also disgusting. Like, what? No. You don't do that. That putting water on your putting just water on your wheat bix is a crime. Okay? The only time in which it's acceptable to put water on your wheat bix is if you also have milk on it and you're using like 
the water to heat the wheat bix. Uh, it's wheat, not whiskey. <laughs> We're not putting water in the whiskey. Hold on, let me explain what wheat bix is. They're little wheat biscuits. They're literally wheat biscuits. <laughs> sort of. And what you do is you put them in milk. And they get very soggy very quickly. And I don't like soggy food, so I have to eat them quite quickly. But you usually put them in milk and they get a little bit soggy. And they, they're good. You can, put, you can put honey on them too. You can do a lot of stuff with wheat bix. They are the, like, one of, like, our national breakfast foods, basically. Except this one apparently says it's New Zealand's number one breakfast cereal. So, I have... They're trying to steal my... They're trying to steal... Oh, put, <laughs> put whiskey on your wheat bix. I don't think I have any whiskey. I actually don't think I have any. I... Oh god, what do I have? I think I only have wine. And I don't drink. So I can't... Like... I don't feel like wine and wheat bix would go well together. Especially since it's mostly red wine. It's like, oh god. That's... That is a combination of flavors and textures. That sounds abominable. <laughs> but you know, I guess if you want to start your day off quickly. <laughs> if you want to have a short day. Whoosh. Oh, okay, so everyone has like a type of Weetabix. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure. Because <laughs> whiskey sounds a bit like Weetabix. So I was worried that it was a like communication error. But now we know. Weetabix. Weetabix are good. But I only have light milk. And I hate light milk. So I can't have Weetabix. Because it just tastes gross. Because we can't buy full cream anymore. Because we're not, my mom and dad's not supposed to have full cream. And I'm like, ugh. We do have soy milk, but I would have to drink all of the soy milk. I don't know if I'm going to do that. <laughs> no, it's all good. It, it's, it's, a, it's a combination of things. I'm not, I, I, I'm, a very, I'm a literalist. <laughs> my brain just goes, ah, yes, the literal reading is. <laughs> you thought I'm going to eat some whiskey. Whiskey for breakfast. It's called shredded wheat. Ah. Okay, right. Okay, yeah. So we're all we, we all understand what we're talking about. We're all talking about the same food, and it's great. They're good food, and so you can put water on wheat bix, but only if you're basically turning your wheat bix into porridge. And even then, that's kind of weird. But like, you can do it. I just would just put just use milk. <laughs> just put milk on it. You know, like that's just that's just what it is. But my mom, my mom does just put the wheat bix in, put the milk in, and she puts the she boils the kettle and puts the warm water in the wheat bix, and she puts it in the microwave and makes like porridge. And I'm like, well, you could just buy porridge. <laughs> like we've bought porridge before. You could just eat porridge. <laughs> just do it the simple way. Just cut out the middle, man. Just get porridge. And yeah, oh the, the pain. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't give you my spare soy milk. Because I know you'd want the soy milk. And if I could, I would just give it to you. I'd be like, oh, okay, you know, I've had my breakfast. And I'm like, here you go. <laughs> Here's the soy milk. You can have it. Chocolate milk. Ooh. That could be an interesting try. But again, I, again, that's the issue. I have to buy it just for myself. And I don't... I, I'm not a huge dairy fan, honestly. I just don't like dairy much. So I'm like, oh, okay, I have to drink all the milk. <laughs> Plus, our soy milk is our rainy day supply that we bought during first lockdown when everyone went and panicked about food. So we just have soy milk and like long life milk hiding away in a cupboard. That's the uh, rainy day milk supply. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't raid the uh, secret stash of milk just yet. I'll leave that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, we need a big side of larger blocks, yeah. There are many sizes of wheat biscuits. <laughs> there are many varieties. Truly, wheat is the other versatile food. It goes like potato, and then it goes like wheat. And then I'm not sure what comes after wheat on the scale of most versatile food. Because like wheat, you can turn into like bread and flour and stuff. So wheat, very versatile food. I'm not sure what number three is. <laughs> Potato, wheat, mm. Total writing for last night before midnight and then after midnight. 4,043 words. Hell yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, I mean, I would... I think I'm basically just going potato and then, like, grain, maybe? Maybe to make it more more broad. Because there are different types of potatoes, too, I guess. 
Like, I'm willing to include sweet potato as a type of potato. So, potato foods, and then grains. So, you know, like, wheat, rye, oats, is oat grain? It's just grains. Grains go in there. And then, <laughs> level three <laughs> is something else, I guess. <laughs> We're not allowed to have test session again. All I'm saying is it's good. Okay, well, let's have a look at the weight fix. Let's see the weight fix. What are your weight fix? Oh, they're circular. Oh, they're cute. They've got a little... They've got rounded corners. Those are cute. Yes. Yes, we are. We are listing staple foods. Which is unfortunate, because this is not useful for this article. But it will be useful for prompt three. <laughs> They'll be useful for prompt three to remember that staple foods are a thing. <laughs> I guess, right? I have to try and find a reason for it to be useful. <laughs> okay, so the Northwest Pact is... Uh, hold on. So did I... I didn't say... Yeah. Oh, Jesus. That is a... That is a messy article. Oh, that is a... <laughs> it's not even that long of an intro, it's just messy looking, because there's this happening. Which... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, that's totally fine, DM Trutch. Happy that you were able to drop by even for a little bit. Everyone is free to drop in, to lurk, etc. We ramble as we go. <laughs> okay, so it is comprised of four members. <clears throat> Ugh. Okay, now I wasn't sure how I was going to actually do this one, which I think means... Oh, because there's five of them, so they don't actually, like... Oh, there's six of them. Okay, so I can just do either... i probably do it in twos, then. Okay, so I'm gonna need... Some of my fancy code. Where's Notepad? There it is. Where's my fancy code? Animal, where'd you put it? Animal, where's my fancy code? There it is. Okay. So it needs to be... Because we're gonna make a fancy. This is not quite the one I want. I think I want two. Right? Yes. And the crash and burn. <laughs> okay, good night, Siobhan. Thank you for stopping by. And you got Minecraft again. Yes! Minecraft! That's the good stuff. That's, that's what we've all been waiting for, is the ability to play Minecraft again. Because God, I love Minecraft. That said, my world does kind of suck. Which is why... <laughs> I've been playing in Day's World instead. <laughs> like, I don't play as much as I want to between streams just because I'm busy. But then I'm like, hey, I'm going to set aside an afternoon and I'm just going to play in Day's World instead of my own. It's like, yeah, it's fine. And then there's former members. I put them here. And they have thing too. Uh, these are for... These do fancy things, I promise. Uh, <laughs> there's, a, there's a purpose for these. These complicated BB code nonsenses. You were playing the Call of Cthulhu game last night for a bit. Not bad. I haven't heard about the Call of Cthulhu game, actually. Because there's, there's so many games that come out, and I just do not keep track of them at all. I'm in my bubble, and I'm like, okay, this game? Cool. <laughs> and then I continue. <laughs> okay, hold on. So this will be... E12, yeah. Which, I've forgotten what my H3 looks like. What does my H3 look like? There's a more starchy banana used for cooking. Oh! Nice! I <laughs> even managed to avoid the siren call of CK3 for two days now. Oh, that's impressive. That is impressive. I ooh. It's actually available in Australia now, but I don't have money. I'm like, damn it! <laughs> Foiled again. Well, I have money. I'm saving I'm saving for something. I don't, I don't need much, but I am saving for something. <laughs> so I'm, I'm setting aside like 20 bucks for something. So I need to do that. Oh, I sh should I just link them? Wait, what do they look like as links in the header? Yeah, isn't that plantain? Yes. I think that is plantain. That sounds that sounds familiar that it would be plantain. Oop. Need to have... What does this look like in the header? Yeah. The fancy, the fancy thing. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Oh, I hate when it does that. Doesn't auto thing. 
Yeah, you really marry your sister. Not again. You put 30 hours of oh, downloading it. You're like, you're gonna download it? Alright, you're gonna buy it at 70% off right now, but I mentioned in a gamer's Twitch chat and got given a code for free. Nice. One more for your Halloween event. Ah, okay. Excellent. Come on, load the load the link, please. It didn't load. What is it doing? Hello. Why is it broke? Hello. I don't. No, we won't link it in the header. We will not link. We will just put text. We'll link it in the body. Because <laughs> that just doesn't look good. I don't want to have to include more exceptions. Because, ugh. Ugh. More of them. And this is... Dre? Which isn't pronounced like it looks, because... Oops. No. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to link it there. Shikai... And that is... Dre. Then... This one is... He will. Which I'm putting there first so that I know how to spell it. He will. And then this is the. This is Lothuzi. So all the, all the actual important people in the, in the pack are people whose names I can actually spell. Which is very nice because most of the time I cannot spell them. Uh, I do not make smart decisions. Go next is Glenn Yuchel. I'm gonna have to copy his umlauts. Oh, I didn't put the tags in. Damn it! I forgot the tags. Story and story. Oop. This is Uqua. Oops, I misspelled the quoi. Nope. Okay. Nope. Give me... I don't, where's my where's my mod powers? Why are my mod powers not happening? Please. Show... Why am I mod? Why am I mod be bad? I'm the mod. Why am I... Man, here we go. Got it. Found it. Found the button. It was hidden. Behind symbols and brain go. <laughs> brain go, I can read? <laughs> oh no. Oh, come on. Give me it. Fuck. Where are you? Uqua? Did I not? Did I not fix it? Oh, the new Kabi was. Oh, Jesus. Ah, <laughs> uh, bot. Kill, kill, kill. Yeah. I was in the going, how do I ban it? Ah! I continue to forget. Okay. Ugh. That was possibly a sign that this name is not good. I'll fix it later. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. And so now... They all have their little squares. That looks extremely close. You should not be that close. Why are you that close? Do you not have any padding? Jesus Christ, you have, like, no pattern. That's not great. We'll add a, a bit of a, a bit of that. And then we're going to see if H4 looks good. For that. Um, now we'll just keep them as H3s. Boom. Okay. And so the basic idea is that What is the basic idea? <laughs> Having done all of that, what was my plan? Because they want us to talk about the members at least a little bit. And like, I've made stubs for them, which are very messy. And I haven't done an organization web yet, because I keep forgetting that the diplomacy field exists. Because I'm trying to work out how best to handle that in general. 
never can go it goes interestingly half the time <laughs> okay and then all right yeah so we're going to talk about the different members but there shouldn't be just the one sentence at the top so maybe maybe instead of that just put current members and so it is just kind of a repeat of the sidebar at the moment but it'll be in a bit more detail so we'll leave the flags on the sidebar because i think that looks neat i haven't done them all but they will be there and then i will just put paragraphs in here i guess <laughs> i switched pretzel rock playlists and now i'm like okay things are happening okay so this is the republic of this is the kingdom of this is also the kingdom of and this is the republic of this is I can only half focus on it because brain go words. Uh, I'm gonna like not listen, but I, it, it, a lot is happening. <laughs> so this is the Repub Republic Republic of Lindsay Chill, and this is the Majocracy. I put that in capitals, please. of the Quabiad, and so then it's like that. The, the whole idea with the CSS is that it'll make the boxes the same height, which is nice. Because then it'll be all fancy. Uh, and these have actually good gas in them. Weird Dark Souls song. Yeah? It has, the, it has a similar vibe. Possibly a bit too energetic. Oh yeah, they have gaps. Why do they have gaps? Interesting. Oh, because the because the container has stuff in it already. Very nice. Oh, you can make. Ooh, hey, hey. <laughs> there are aesthetics. I'm not gonna touch them. No, it was not my CSS, and I will leave it where it is. It was called you die. <laughs> okay, so like upbeat feeling. But it was about death. So I guess yes. <laughs> Listen, I, I didn't read. Oh, it was Miracle. Oh, yeah, okay. It sounded familiar. It was Miracle of Sound. That makes sense. The Republic of Vitravia was the founder of the Northwest Pact. And it and it's what I described it as earlier. Uh, it's a de facto and, and it's de facto leader. This could be the, they're not even the biggest one, they're just, you know, around. I probably should actually have the thrust and I go up. Let's ignore the, ignore the weed fix. Uh, <laughs> ignore the weedies. Uh, we want... So let me fix this. I keep forgetting. Actually, it might actually be the biggest. I'm, oh, uh, well, mm, I think technically Lethuzi is, mm, oh, I, mm, is Lethuzi the biggest one? It would either be Luthuzi or Ijuavia. Ijuavia is this one, and Luthuzi is this one. And I think by sheer territory control, in terms of like ocean territory, like maritime borders, Luthuzi takes the cake easily because Ijuavia has this whole thing going on. But in terms of land mass, Ijuavia might be the biggest. Probably the next biggest was Ukabuyath, which was pretty big. Like, that's not a particularly small. We're called Oh No, Give a Kiss theme song. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Someone should make a, a song called Oh No, and we should embed it in the internet article. I think this is, this is just how it works. That's the theme song of that particular article. So, yep. Yeah. Oh god. It's Dr. Leader. They are located on the northern shores 
Sons of Thorazin and well okay so how much de what sort of details would I need I guess would be the question how much detail does it need to go in to hmm I wonder how many you have to go into for the, the members, because it didn't say we had to go into a lot. So, you know, you list a few of the members who formed the organization, that's basically it. But I want to go into detail to an extent so that you kind of get a sense of why all these members are present. And I'll be including a map of this area. Technically it's this. It includes this one as well. Which I haven't redone most of these borders, but this one is that. Maybe the horizon does sound called Oh No. <laughs> like, I can't play that. <laughs> it could be like anything, but, but guys, based on my knowledge of them, I, it would be a lot. <laughs> it would be fairly intense, right? I'm not confusing them for some other band. Oh dear. It sounds really familiar, but I don't know why. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, so the kingdom of... Uh, I think was, well, I guess one of the... One of the... What I found was... One of the founders of the North West Act. They are a small. Lost your mouth. No, I don't want to see. Oh, that's fair. That, that is, you know, yeah, that is fair. Listen to your own music. I was saying that I don't know how, like, I feel like an, a song by Bring Me the Horizon, I, A, I can't play it because that's copyrighted as hell and also it'd be fairly intense. So, <laughs> the intensity is not a problem, it's just a statement of fact. A small coastal nation. Okay. Oop, are they the smallest? They're the smallest, right? Yes, yes they are. By a long shot. Yeah, because these guys aren't in it. There's a mountain range there. Alright. Yeah, oh, ooh. Mm, oh mm, no, they weren't part of it. They might have considered it, but they did not join the Northwest Pact. Uh, yes, anyway. Yeah, so I'll just have to like make a note to actually like listen to it later, which maybe I will do. I have space in this book, right? Why is there a gap between where the stuff starts and where my old legal notes are? I'm confused. There's a lot going on in this in this she little notebook. What is happening? I got this for free at like an open day, but for a school. For a school that I've never been to, so I'm like, oh, okay, that's interesting. Uh, that's next week's game notes. <laughs> that's next week's game notes, which, in case any of my players or fellow players are present, I don't think they are, but they wouldn't tell me. Uh, I can't discuss the notes for next session. Not that I'm the DM, I just have notes. Uh, oh no. Yeah. Yeah. You don't really- you only know the name. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can think of other songs called Oh No. There's a song called Oh No by Marina and the Diamonds, but that is definitely not a Dark Souls song. <laughs> or, a, or a Q song. It's just called Oh No. I put that in my notes. I think- yeah, that would have come up, yeah. That is not a Dark Souls or a Q song, but it is a song. And I, I- I like- I like- I like Marina and the Diamonds, but it is different. <laughs> There's some, the other thing. So much to work on today. Infrastructure for the Alliance prompt. Three adventure scripts. CK3. Where to begin? Hmm. That is a good question. You have m many options and I, I cannot make the decision for you. Because on the one hand I would say Alliance prompt because since we're all here ostensibly for the Alliance prompt we can all chat about it if we have like confusions or like want to discuss the prompt. But also, this is my stream we're talking about. <laughs> so 
So, you know, honestly, whatever. Whatever, whatever sounds like, you know, a good time in some form. It's all a good time. Oh, God. Oh, I can't wait for Tuesday's stream because I'll be able to talk about what happened in the game on Monday. Um, I'm, I'm hyped for Monday's game and also terrified. It's gonna be a bad day. <laughs> Alright, see you, damn stretch. Thank you for stopping by. Bye bye. Get some coastal nation. Populated. With the highest. Elf. I forgot that I changed keyboards. Elf. Population in the region. Ooh. Yeah, small. I should probably specify that that is west coast. Small western coastal? Right? That's a sentence. Those are the correct forms of words. Um, populations? Population. That's not gonna fit the word, is it? Damn it! Boo! Boo! Fit! Fit! You just do there. What if I just, you know, shorten it to there? Yeah, for alliance, I need names for the nine organizations and the various key- Oh god. I haven't even- There are individuals? <laughs> oh no. You don't want to have to do more naming on stream. That's not how this works. <laughs> naming is not the good time. Just because I have a sheet doesn't mean I know names. I'm like, ah, shit. Yeah, I hate names. Make me think like, yeah, languages. <laughs> what a nightmare, right? Hmm. Uh, I'll have to fix the bit later, I think. <laughs> like, I have my conlang sheets. None of them are good, but I have them, and oh boy. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, thank. He will is a oh was well let me just get rid of it was because the phrase one of the founders is gonna bother me isn't it well i guess we can just keep it one of the founders of the north west fact which one is nwp they are a in there and inland monarchy uh where's my biome map gone which i need to make the biome map good you almost sent the fog line yesterday oh no <laughs> you can't fall in you can't fall in things will go bad bad if we fall in i need to make the biome map at some point but they are in they're in a different biome aren't they hmm? Oh, they're in a different biome. Wait, no, they're not. They're in temperate rainforest too. Okay, they're all in rainforests, I think, except for Glinzu Chol, which is partially woodland and marsh. Because this is a biome map that they made for me a while back. And I'm looking at it, going, "What's the vibe? <laughs> What's the tree vibe here?" <laughs> the answer is many of them and lots, a lot of them. Because I only have so many words to describe them. Because what's my notes? <laughs> yeah, that's my note. Said so they were... Oh, they were poor. Okay, that's important. I mentioned, because I, I did the brief notes here during the week. Um, so they're the smallest, but they're very helpful. Uh, they're the poorest. And have to receive a lot of economic aid. Because... They're an inland country, it kind of sucks to be landlocked sometimes. And then they have a lot of, like, merchant trade, because they have just a ton of islands, and of course they do. You're gonna need a dwarven elf language and an elven language one of these days. Yeah. Yeah. I have what? How many? Oof. I have five human languages, two three elf languages and i'm still missing a language because i haven't even touched the merfolk yet because i specifically just want to I'm, i don't want to have to deal with it uh, i'm just like i i can't <laughs> i can't do this now so i have to leave the merfolk on their own and i'm like i'm sorry baby but i can't <laughs> i can't do a tonal language now i'm busy 
that's how I leave them. Noma, you don't have a language, you're fine. I'll, I'll deal with you sometime. <laughs> oh no, I don't even know when I added merfolk, but I haven't touched them at all. Actually, I didn't even find that out. When did I add merfolk? To the setting. When did I add the merfolk? Uh, yeah, okay, that's at least two months ago, but I'm pretty sure it's more than that. Uh, advanced tools. Metadata. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> they have been there for a year. I'll leave them where they are. <laughs> they'll get a language eventually. Eventually they'll have a language. Maybe I'll do that during like November or something. Because I still haven't decided if I'll actually do any novel writing. So maybe I'll just do conlanging during November. Yeah, a global language as well, but it, yeah, so you'll just do a, a fun, funky mashup. I've immediately forgotten the word for those specific mashups. Creoles? Pigeons? It's one of the two. I think it's a creole. Gonna make a dwarven elven creole. It's gonna be great. Same for gnomes. A different mashup though. Ah, yes, alright. One of them will be heavier dwarf, one of them will be heavier elf. I assume... Actually, I don't want to make an assumption because I don't know. I assumed that like gnomes would be heavier dwarf and then goblin would be heavier elven, but I have nothing to back up that as that assumption. <laughs> Mickey, in the the poorest country, and Harper could be a dialect of human. Yeah, that that, that sounds that sounds about right. Country in the pact. How big is that? I need to edit this one. Ugh. It's because its name is long. That's why it doesn't fix. Its name is huge. Ugh. <laughs> it doesn't fix because its name is massive. Actually, no, it doesn't make any difference because it still ends at the same point. Ugh. God. Check on you. They're small. Maybe small west coast? Like west coast. There we go, west coast. Just because I think that gets the point across. If you describe yourself as being west coast, you presumably are coastal. Hmm. In your world, gnomes and golems are both created amid both dwarves and elves, but different times by different gods. Right, okay. So they're, they're both combina sort of combinations, like mashups of those two groups already. Or like, they just were surrounded by them on all sides, and so it took a lot of like cultural elements just in, 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 in. In the big gnome melting pot. And then the gnomes come out. And they speak a funky language. <laughs> Susie was the first country to join the pact after it came into effect. They are a West Coast Republic with many merchant islands. Right? Yeah! Boom. Cha-ching! And then... Glen Zuchol is something that exists. Which has... <sighs> Glen Zuchol and Iqua Ijuavia probably have the most work put into them. Because Ijuavia is kind of the linchpin of everything happening here. And then Glen Zuchol has... M other things happening in its history. They they're around. They've been around for a bit. They have uh, connections to things. I think I mentioned them in. Oh, was it the Central? No. It was the Treaty of Uniolf. They're in the Treaty of Uniolf a bit, so they have like stuff going on. So even though they're not actually made yet, like the article isn't filled out, they have been mentioned in a bunch of places already. Yeah. So the gnomes are a cleaner blend. The goblin language would be somewhat unique. It has, yeah, there'll be a couple of words that will be unique because they'll have different ways of seeing the world than either dwarves or elves do. 
So like even though they will have a lot of vocabulary and maybe even like the grammatical structure will be very similar to those two languages, they are going to have unique words for stuff, right? I think that's true of most, like any time that like combinations show up. Like any of the Creole languages still have like unique words just because sometimes like if you take all the dwarf words, right? But then you go into a forest, like in stereotypical dwarves, obviously. I know your dwarves have a lot of variety and like go on the sea and stuff. But if you have dwarves that just live in the mountain and you give the gnome, the goblins, all the dwarf words and send them out into the forest, they now do not have the words to describe a forest. And so they will make up their own, right? So they will have unique words and it'll be great. And then Tango will be fun. Beats instead of, yes, clicks. She'll have clicks, click. she'll have probably tonal because they're bird like. So you'll have fun vowel shit going on. Um, a lot of fricatives. <laughs> Let me just throw words around. Fricatives. <laughs> oh, oh, like, it's like sibilants, like S. That's, I feel like, this is a good word. No, it's a good sound. So they probably wouldn't have fu. Because foot is labi labi labio dental. Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They abs they absolutely do. They have different voice boss to most stuff. But if we're going to approximate a bird person, right? Like a like a bipedal. Like a, um, birds are already bipedal, I guess. But like you know, like a bipedal anthro bird person. You're gonna get funky with it. And you have to try and approximate birdsong into a language that can be written in, like, Latin script. Or in the very least, like, a form of Latin script, you know? You gotta get funky with it. That's why, like, for the merfolk, when I eventually write the merfolk language, I've chosen to make it tonal, because I've thought that since a lot of, um... A lot of, like animals in the ocean have, like, like they're, like, high-pitched noises, and they're, like, it, it, like, goes. You want noises that are, like, loud and have, like, different tonal registers. Like, okay, tonal language. They probably don't have exactly the same anatomy as land people, but, like, you gotta approximate. You gotta get fucky with it. <laughs> you know? The grammar I understand. I'm the opposite. I do not understand grammar. I understand phonology decently well. I can't transcribe phonology because I think like I have a list of vowels like I did I did a phonology unit and it gave us like a list of like here's the vowel sounds in Australian English and I'm like okay I get it but the issue is that my Aussie accent is not particularly textbook so I'm sitting here like ah yes this sound I'm making is this sound and then someone who knows what sounds are is like you are saying a completely different noise but you don't know what you're talking about like Jit. oh yeah, yeah like not bird song because they're crow like but like that's the kind of you know it's all connected right <laughs> things all happen it's the kind of like birds talk differently you know squawking is not really a human sound it's not produced in the same way that human sound is or bird song either i guess it is whistles oh you can have whistles oh that'd be great this is good a lot of warbling <laughs> Language is fun. I like language. I wish I understood grammar. I have a textbook. I should just read the textbook. Because <laughs> I bought the textbook. Like, I bought it. With my own money. Because the class was like, hey, you need this $100 textbook. And I was like, well... Shit. And so I bought it. Like, I think I... I think we... I think my mom and I... No, it was, it was like 140 bucks, wasn't it? Fucking hell. It was an expensive textbook. And I only got to read half of it because I didn't do the second unit because I couldn't fit it in. And I was like, damn. So I learned all about phonology. Then I fuck all about grammar. Which is why it's useful to study languages. Learn other languages, you learn stuff about grammar. Because I'm almost getting the hang of Scottish grammar with Scottish Gaelic. I'm, I'm vaguely getting it. Yeah, lots of trill and lots of clicks. Yeah. It'll be great. I'll, I look forward to seeing all of the languages. Cause like, the thing is that for most of the time, you don't need to be that detailed. Like, I think all of my languages don't have grammar. Because I don't get it. And I basically only need them to describe things. 
So sometimes I'll have a very vague, like, okay, did the adjective go before or after the thing? And that's basically all I need as naming langs. I don't need grammar. I would like grammar, but I think I've, it would require overhauls to put grammar in. So I've just left them where they are. At some point I would like grammar. <laughs> in at least one of them. Oh god. I was gonna make sure I had grammar for Scherzenach, which is the second elven language in Thrasin, but uh, I forgot, and so I didn't. Which is part of why I'm delaying doing the merfolk language, because I actually want to try and do it properly. Properly. <laughs> now, like, all the fancy stuff you're supposed to have in a language. <laughs> Maybe at some point. Is a... Ooh, they are coastal, right? They are. Okay, this is Winzuchul down here. They're, they're, they're barely coastal, but they are coastal. I need to fix all these borders too, because I need to make them look cool like the ones up here. These take like, these take like five minutes to do each of these. It's a pain in the ass. Um. Hmm. So if we... What do I describe it as, I guess? This one's chalk. So it's a republic in the south. And it left because it didn't want to fight in no war. Uh, the second country to join the pact. Second, I guess, second non-founder. Do to join the pact. They are a south coast republic and left due to being pacifistic. Did I spell pacifist? No. Passive. Pacifistic. I wouldn't say pacific. That's why it was awkward, because I was going to say specific. Yeah, for most lines I need enough phonology and that's going to do names, maybe have to grammar. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. You basically just, you get, you, you make enough to do what you need it to do. Because like, because I don't need grammar, I don't make grammar. Because if I had, if I went through the effort of making every single one of the languages I've made for TUMRA a fully fledged language, I would only have like, maybe two of them done. But because it's only naming languages and like you know phonology and lexicon i can get a lot of stuff done and i can give you this like senses of different cultures through the fact that the words sound different like you can kind of tell that idwavia and dracarnu are different cultures because that th these don't look the same and then you add fucking umlauts it's like what the fuck and then if you need grammar then you start doing grammar <laughs> So the Dwarven will need all of the fancy stuff, which will be fun. It'll be fun for the Seafarer expansion. Combining is fun. I wish I had more time to do it. I wish I had more time to do anything. <laughs> There's enough grammar- yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's enough grammar, no adjective, I said. Well, hold on. Yeah. Like, you basically need to know word order, really. And that that's useful for naming as well. Knowing adjective placement is important for naming too, because a lot of things will be like, like you'll have like town like called Blue Town, and it's like okay, would it be Town Blue or Blue Town? How would you describe it? So like knowing where the descriptive words go around the noun is is useful for I think any naming language, or knowing how it it goes around, knowing. Grammar more complicated than that is mostly for if you actually need sentences, yeah. Like, I have that basic grammar, and even then, I might not keep- I might have not followed it. Half the time. <laughs> I keep forgetting, and I'm like, ah, shit. Fuck it. <laughs> Does the word look neat? Does it sound cool? Yay. Woo! I'm very flexible with my, uh, languages. Because <laughs> I'm lazy. Uh. Was the... Last country to join the pact, and the first to leave. A northern democracy 
the port with Idravia and we're expelled. That's not gonna fit, is it? It fits! <laughs> but even if it doesn't, for like, um, resolution reasons, that's why the boxes act like they do, because then they'll extend a bit and it'll look fine. It'll, it'll look, it'll, it'll look fine. It won't look great, but it'll look fine. So that means I can delete all of this, I think. I don't need the red chest, I already put that, I already put that, and academic dispute. Academic dispute. That's a phrase. Okay, so I don't actually need you. I don't need you. Don't need you. But I do need your brakes because you are not currently functional yet. Just, you know. I haven't finished them yet. I have not made the flags. I meant to, and then I didn't. <laughs> Which is a running theme, I think. So that all of the other four will have flags to go in there, and then I will also make a logo for the Northwest Pact at some point, is the idea. Eventually, they will have flags. Even if that puts me into like the um, the sharing period, because I'd be I'd be allowed to add those during sharing. Uh, I couldn't get a Shahibul one. I was trying to, and then none of them worked in my quick time before last before Tuesday stream. I was trying to make flags, and I couldn't make one for Shahibul. Just wasn't working because I'm not good at <laughs> at making flags that look cool. And also have the color green on them. Like, does none of them have green? Or pink? I need pink ones. This was the discussion last time, too. I need pink flags. <laughs> I need flags with pink on them. They're cool. So I'm gonna give Lethuzi, like, a purple flag. It's gonna be great. Okay, so that's... A member chunk. Hmm. When I put maps... In the in the member chunks, I don't have any. But if I did at the moment, like would I put their maps in them? Because they look really small. Because like um, I think I have a Glenzu Chol map actually. Do I have a Glen one? I do. Yes. All right, we can look at that. Let's see how it looks. Damn it! It doesn't fill in like that. I hate when it does this. Hello? Hello? Oh, you're in the wrong area. Never mind. I'm in the sidebar still. <laughs> there's, just, there's a map trying to appear over there. Uh, oops. Oopsie daisy. Pop it in here. Hmm. I might have to edit its size a bit. But the issue is that uh, Dracanyu is quite small, so maybe they should be big. Hmm. Yes, I think that would actually be quite neat. I will have to make them, and I still need to update them all. Oh my god, fuck, I still haven't done that. When am I going to do that? When am I going to fix the maps? Uh, when will I fix the maps? Indeed. Because I fixed the blank, didn't I? Did I fix the blanks? I fixed one of the blanks. Okay. I didn't fix the actual blank. Like, without any of the color. Oh my god. Ugh. God damn it. Getting things done is hard. <laughs> I'm not good at it. Uh, so they need to be separated as well. Mm, or they should be at the bottom. Well, mmm. 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 This depends on the sidebar. There's not going to be that much in the sidebar, I wouldn't think. I was going to put shit about Quoviana in it. Just an, an aside of like, hey. Kiwoviana suck. And I was like, yeah, right. 
<laughs> I'll take your word for it. He's like, yes, you will. Uh, but the actual structure of the organization is basically NATO, which is why I have NATO up here so I can actually remember how this shit works. Oh, they have a separate article for it. Excellent. Give me the structure of NATO. Oh boy, that's what I want to hear. Complex and multifaceted. Great. I love it. I love when things are complicated. I don't. I don't. <laughs> this sucks. Oh god, what? Brain, brain glazing over. We're having a problem. What in the goddamn? Oh no. Oh dear. What in the. Oh Jesus. Okay. Alright. Alright. Okay. Because no. Who is the no in this situation? Like, that's Poland. That's Portugal. Who's no- Oh, Norway. <laughs> Forgot that Norway existed. I'm sorry, Norway. I had a minute where my brain just forgot about the Scandinavia. So I'm going, what does it mean to be no? And that's Belgium, the Netherlands, Germany, the UK. Nope. Oh, Turkey. Oh, there you go. And that's... something. And that's Natalie. Oh. What is happening? <laughs> oh, I don't get it. Oh, uh, no. Brain go poof. Never mind. Okay, so the basic gist of the structure is that there's a council <laughs> <laughs> that discusses military policy and training. That's it. That's all it needs to be. What's the word count? <laughs> what are the rules? Oh, I'm not gonna hit that. Don't worry, Baron. I'm looking after you. This is not gonna be a long article. And thank God. Uh, okay. So then... Not current members, former members. They'll have maps when I fix them, and then... Why would you put it I guess you'd put it up above here, actually. Up here, even. You'd put them up here, and you'd go... Oh, well, actually, no, you'd put them up here, above current members, and you'd go... Go the north, west, act, insists, well... Uh, currently has four members. Each member provide each member state provides representatives representatives for two councils. The because this is like the there's like the civilian and the military branch, and that's all I managed to glean from earlier. Is it like the NAC and it does like... Shit. <laughs> it does stuff. Any question. The Alliance is your first month long challenge. What size of article? Okay, so... Well, there is a max word count. And the max word count is two and a half K. I feel like most people, a lot of people have been saying that they're getting quite close because they have a lot of stuff to talk about, obviously. But I feel like most people try to aim, I think between 1 and 2k is the general like word count. Because I think most of my challenge articles end up being about 1.5. Except for the one time. Yeah, um, in it's in the other rules. So articles can be no longer than 2,500 words. We can only have 2,500 words. But, that's not counting BB code. 
So there is leeway because it's literally counted by taking that, copying it, and pasting it. So like all of these links are like three words because of, you know, BB code shenanigans and like the quotes are words and all of my containers are words, but it's going to be like 50 less words at least when you just copy it into like a counting program. Well, it is below the stuff because like most people would be focusing like up here. This is where the important stuff is happening. This tells you what to actually make. And then you go, okay, yeah, I have an account and yep, use the template, okay. And then you just kind of zone out. Because it is in the middle of other stuff. But it is, you know, so there it is there. So two and a half is the most we're allowed to have. But most of us, I think, aim between one and two K. Because that's a pretty, like, that's a good, good length for an article, I think. Especially if you format it well. Like, you don't want it to have it be a block of text. That's why I have a bunch of little headers. Because that helps, like, break it up a bit and makes it a bit easier to read. If you can sort of take a breath and be like, okay, I've read the beginning section. Now the packed section. Now the post signing section. Now the structure section. Instead of just being like, <laughs> just keeps going. Some of my old articles have that problem quite badly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just write a typical summer camp article. <laughs> That'll be kind of in the vein of some of my World Ember articles, I think. When I'm when I'm unleashed to go ham, my articles tend to fall either at like 600 words or like 2k. <laughs> Somewhere in that range. I think most of my World Ember articles last year were about a k long. I can actually check. Uh, World Ember. That's not the one I want. That's the wrong World Ember tracker. I have a- oh no, it's Word Count. Oh, I remember now, it's Word Count. Word Count. I have it. Word Count. So this was... yeah. So this is my Word Count tracker from... This is the wrong year, actually. Wrong year. This is from the first year. And so a lot of them are, like, trending about, like, 600-ish up to a 2k one here. I didn't do anything that day. And I didn't, some of them are a bit shorter. But word count 2019 is going to be different. Because that's from last year. This is from 2018. 2019's one at... That's the aim. So daily word count. I put them over here. I have a couple of short ones. Because I just need something to fill time. But I also had a lot of gaps. Because I did this absolute nonsense. Which, to be fair... The nearly 5k one is a document template, and I basically wrote a short story in the document part. But most of them are about a k along, and a couple of like shorter ones. This is the shortest one from last year's World Ember, I think. Just because I didn't have a lot to say about it. And then like, nah, well, no, Garanya's the next shortest, because language is hard to write about. But that's like the, the, the typical range that I go for, for big articles. Which will be fun, because I'll have many, ma if I get bored during World Ember, I have plenty of country articles to write, let me tell you. Holy shit. There are so many. Oh no. There are perhaps too many. Okay, so each state provides representatives to councils. The civilian pact council and the military pact council. There we go. The former are sent uh, diplomats or uh, heads or the heads of state or government. Which one do you send? Literally either of them. Okay, great. They government. And the and, and to the latter are sent generals and military commanders. The civilian pact council deals with what does the NAC deal with? This to be unanimous. But what do they actually do? 
Policies. Okay. So they deal with like foreign policy stuff. Deals with the matter of foreign policy and local law as it pertains to the pact's military uh, pact agenda. Uh, each state sends at least two representatives to each meeting, which are held once a month, though can be called at any time, depending on circumstance. Decisions made by the CPC must be unanimous. Unanimous. <laughs> Words are hard. This is made to be unanimous in order to come into effect. Uh, the Military Pact Council deals with the day-to-day -day running of each state's militaries and how those militaries coordinate with each other in training and actual combat. When do the people in the big thing meet? Do they meet like once a week? Because if that's the case, it's once a month. Oh, because I'm just combining them. Yeah, I'm combining them. Because, uh. Hmm. Right, right, okay. Mm. They advise the CPC on military policies. Uh, each state sends. It sends at least two representatives and for important meetings will send their highest military officials. I probably should mention that here too. Because I feel like the month bit does not really matter as much. Though it is important. It is an important aspect, but it's not like that important. I don't feel like. Not really. At least two representatives for every important. Important. Nope. Get out of my way. Importante. Various military officials. I think I worked out the main contention for the video essay needs to do. That's the one on um, Priscilla, right? She did that a while ago. I mean, ooh, <laughs> don't get me started. I, ooh, ooh, oh boy, oh boy, there is, there is homework that I am, oh boy, because <laughs> like the teacher set up a group of us because he's like, hey, you will like character design, get together and chat, and then uh, we haven't, for starters, we haven't done that. Unless they have been doing that and I haven't been getting notifications. I'm going to check. Hold on. One second. This isn't on screen, right? This better not be on screen. It's not. Okay. I'm checking something real quick. <laughs> I just panicked. No, okay. We have not chatted. Um, so he set us up in a group to chat and to try and make like an alternative form for assignment three. And um, we haven't. So that's going to be fun. To try and figure out how to actually answer assignment three because um mm, it's gonna be a rough one all of them have been rough this entire unit has been shit 
but it's fine. <laughs> Meanwhile, you get to watch a bunch of cool films, and you get to make video essays about them. Rude. Not that I would want to have to do that. I don't. Oh no. I mean, video essay is three minutes long, but, you know, it's the spirit that counts. The soul of the essay. So they were sending their high military officials. The NPC gives the CPC advice on military on military policy. Policy. Like molasses. Palassi. That needs a break between those sentences. No. Don't do that. That's rude. And there you go. And so then if I also delete this... Let's be an emoji there, or is it just a blank? Oh, there you go. It didn't look. <laughs> there it goes. Oh, my phone's bad, isn't it? Wow. So bad. Oh, miracle sound again. I thought it was. I heard it coming. Alright, so that's not actually that long, which means I have plenty of space <laughs> to do things. But in order to actually make sure it fits, I'm going to take the Ijuavia flag and just give it as an example in the bit so that I know it's there. So I know the proportions of the article, because it'll all be a hundred wide, I think, so that works. They will have their fancy flags, I just have to make them. So I have this much space to write about... I have actually probably have more, actually. But I don't have these flags done yet. Oh god, there are so many flags I have to do. Uh, I don't have maps, even. Uh, maps, dude. Maps are a pain. You look extremely close to your headers. Into the shadow. I might have to tweak the the spacing on that. In fact, I will. I will fix the spacing on that. Where is my H2? Where is my headers? Yeah, no. No, oh, mm -mm. <laughs> basics, headers, here we are. Oh, it was in capitals. Oh, my apologies. No pep plus doesn't want to just scroll things. So H3, it's H3 actually, because it's H2, but in CSS it's a H3. Yeah. So it has padding, and it has a 5 pixel margin bottom. But how big is the margin bottom on you. You have a margin of 10. I think 10 would be better. I'm gonna pop, pop that in there real quick. Margin bottom 10 pixels. 10 XP. 10 experience points. That reads a bit better. Just a bit more space. Just, just, eh. <laughs> It's gonna be bigger. Looks slightly better if there's more space. Uh, posture is bad. Uh, so that actually be a lot of space on the sidebar. I feel like, well, even though the cool Vienna bit's gonna be, I don't know how long the cool Vienna bit's gonna be because I don't know what to include in it. Is my issue. Haven't figured that out yet. Luciana. Two story. That should. That should. Oop. Nope. You should be content. <laughs> it's not smart that I have a step. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Ah, capitals. Oh no. What about that brace? <laughs> there we go. Oh no. Okay. So. Um. Because what was I going to talk about with Cool Viana? Because Cool Viana is important, but they're not actually a member of the Pact. So I feel like... Oh, there's Venu Tiku as well. They also need to be discussed. Venu Tiku was also important. But in a slightly different way. Because they're just, you know... They're, they're around. Uh, maybe let's go Northern 
Aggression. That's not how to spell the word aggression. But I do not have spell check. No, it's how you spell aggression? Oh, it just looks weird. Huh. Go figure. Oh, uh, boo! Boo! Looks fine. And then some of this container. You are too big. Too big for you to be And there you go. Okay. So we're gonna write a sidebar bit about these two countries. So there's Ku of Yana and there's Vianitiku. Which I don't Yeah, so Ku of Yana, a monarchy defeated a big empire thing. Uh, had an interregnum because they got their ass kicked and by interregnum I mean they ceased to exist for about I think 200 years is that the date that I came across no I oh, wait hold on what was the date that I came up with because I did timeline stuff during the week as well so I put them in there um so, so this was a Rissaril invading uh, Battle of Ajuavia was the beginning of year of collapse but it meant a good thing. And then 88 renewal. So that's nearly 200 years of interregnum, which is pretty impressive, frankly. Um, you know, the North's dealing with its shit, and then, you know, the Central just has a, an absolute shit fit. Just goes wild on it. That's why there's a whole article dedicated to the Central War and not to uh, the Kingdom of Hika Cool Dust. Because, fuck them. Um... Finish GN2. Ajun. You probably should have more. Why is that the disbandment image? I'm a bit confused. <laughs> I'm a little confused. Um, but I'm not going to do anything about it. Uh, then the others have the stuff in them. Because that's... Uh, the wars that we were talking about earlier. There's this, which is the Kuvjana War. This is, I put that separately because it is a separate thing. That's Rihugab. Uh, did not succeed. And then that. Okay. I probably should put Kuvjana reestablished somewhere at some point. Somewhere in here. Before this. Before that happens. Kuvjana falls like somewhere in here. They possibly predate this, but not by much. For the re-establishing of the country. I'm not even talking about the alliance anymore. <laughs> you followed over to the other thing that's going on and the reason the alliance exists. Because I figure that's important, right? Because, like, it's the threat. So, like, I'm talking about the threat. Which, at one point, was themselves. But, you know, Kuvian is still out there, and so is the other one. Fanatiku is also doing something. But they are less filled out, because, uh... <laughs> my, my notes are... Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, God. That's why that article isn't public. No one needs my notes on those. They're not good notes. <laughs> They're bad. Oof. Big wolf. On the on that. So the main reason for the formation of the North West Pact was to fend of the southern the advances of the God damn it, I'm on the wrong keyboard. Why am I on the wrong keyboard? I know why. I don't like it. Of the Kingdom of Kuviana, which is already linked, but let's just keep doing it. Let's just keep linking them three, four, five times. I think Ajuavi is linked like three different times. It's great. God damn. Events. A northern power. Uh, 
Kuviana's reasoning, reasons for trying to expand south have changed many times since the Kuviana Is it Kuviana Ejwavia? Or is it Ejwavia Kuviana? Where is it? I've got you. It is the Ejwavia Kuviana. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> The other Vyavya. Ijwavya Kuvyana War. Ranging from trying to res restore Ijwavya's monarchy to, uh, to wanting a warm water. Most no. I don't know. That's not really a good reason. Cause they're trying to make excuses. Their excuses are not to wanting. Uh, what do they want? So they're trying to either restore the Ijwavian monarchy, which got overthrown in uh, the cool time, or or they are trying to. Oh, did I say anything about it? Because they acknowledged the Republic as legitimate. And then they sneakily try to take Island Fig again. That's Rehukab. But for what purpose? Publicly. What public purpose? Because your actual purpose is just you want land. Big, big, big land. Many land. But what's the actual, like, PR stunt? going on there is it like I don't know Oop. oh Chris Green event are they doing like a screening of like Priscilla or something let's find out while I'm here what are they doing day for what reason are you saying this to the I show in what movies thing <laughs> <laughs> this is so that I can have a look and be like, ah, oh. oh gosh, there are a lot. <laughs> there are men, and that's what, when's this? When is that? When are they? Some of them have dates. Yeah, no, you cannot have my location. Oh boy, there are many. Oh, there, that is the adventures. Hell yeah. <laughs> it is now. It is now. Oh god. Is it like a physical location or is it like online? I guess is the issue. Like what's the... Because that one of them said drive-in. And I, I don't do drive-in. Oh, to Sydney. Right, yeah. That makes sense. Who knows. It all looks cool. Things are cool. Things are cool. Movies are good sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes movie good. Sometimes movie bad. I am picky. I still need to watch a movie. <laughs> there are so many movies I want to actually watch for once in my life. I'm like, yes, please, I want to watch a movie. But that's the one time when movies are not available. My like, god damn it. Yeah, movies are great sometimes. Sometimes. Just, just, just a little bit. Just a lot. Just a lot to be just a little bit. A little. Retaliating. Against Jwavia's aggression. Do -do -do. <laughs> Jwavia's aggression. The reason, hey, the most likely, nope. Ah, oh, hell yeah! Use that as reference for your uh. For your your video essay. That's the good stuff. The key reason it, it more likely is that they yeah. Since 1978. Very nice. More recent than you would like, but uh, that's you know, that's pretty good. It's a pretty good amount of time. So that's what, is that like a similar year to... When did Sydney Mardi Gras start? 
I guess would be the question. I don't know any dates for things. I am wee bab. Time is hard. Right. Yeah, I guess that is true. It is earlier than, than you expect, because you're like, okay, it starts in like the 90s, right? But it's like, no, 70s. It's like, oh, wow. Not half bad. But considering how long, like, Sis Het film festivals have been around, you know? Like, yeah, you know, it could, be, it could be older, but, you know, it's pretty impressive anyway. In the scheme of the rest of context. You know? Does that make sense? I have no idea. Uh, let's figure something out. God damn it. You know, wash my bottle again at some point. I think. Because he's mean. I like my old drink bottles because they're more reusable, but also, it's not very drinkable out of. You gotta like full on put it up. It's like, ugh. Everywhere. I need to like scrub it or something. I'm gonna leave it for a couple days. And if they wanted greater access to warm water, for, to warm waters, and the Western Sea, a valuable area of trade. Not hydrate. God damn it! I just. <laughs> I just goddamn screwed the bottle on! I screwed the top on! I put it on all the way. You know what you mean? Meanie. You're a meanie one. Big meanie. Uh, okay. And then. Oh, hee hee hee. <laughs> Very funny. A valuable area of trade. With great, with great connections to rich powers like. Let's link in our boy. Hell yeah. My boy. They exist. There is also the element of pride. Prior to its co each collapse, in when did it collapse? When did it collapse? I put it in the date. When did it collapse? It collapsed, and by collapsed, I mean was forcibly, uh, you know, ceased. <laughs> Forcibly ceased. You, you make yourself you, you make yourself do research now because then as soon as midnight hits I'm gonna be like day, 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 day. Hamachi. <laughs> you gotta do it now. You gotta do the homework now. You're doing better than I was, because I was supposed to do homework before the stream and I didn't. So oops a daisy. Collapse in eighty eight renewal. I'm gonna put in a tooltip for that, but I need to figure out when that is. Convert. Converter. Converter. Oh my god, it's. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> As ever, oh boy. 88 renewal. That is. I have 219. Put that in there, and that becomes 644. 644 years ago. Which, you know, it is something. Uh, tooltips? Oh, uh, tooltips do hover, but they don't have a color set to them. That's mean. I should maybe fix that. And by I, I mean, maybe I'll mention it. Ah, oh god. Uh, 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 oh god. Where'd it go? Oh, it's in here somewhere. Oh, it's just a matching code. It doesn't actually have a... a thing attached to it. That's rude. Because the links have things. It'd be nice if things loaded good. Yes, it would be nice if things loaded good. <laughs> Goddamn the uni library. Oh, the uni library was a 
absolute bitch to work with. Like, remember when the storm happened? Right? Like, I was like, okay, so the storm sucks. The next day, I was doing homework, and I was working on my essay for art tech, writing a, like an essay on a particular artist. And I had sources that I collected earlier, and I had the, 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 the height, the, like, the permalinks to the page, to the listings for those books and such on the uni library search. And I clicked on them, I logged into my uni account, and the library went, uh-uh, fuck you. And I was like, what? Because I just could not access the uni library search for like two days. And and when that happened was when I submitted my sim request for an extension. I was like, listen, I'm not fucking with this. Fuck this shit. <laughs> Uh, I think the escrow thing, yeah. It was just, it was just like, you're not allowed to, and I'm like... Okay. Because I think it was, it was connected to the fact that because the storm took out my power, it took out my internet, and then the internet didn't turn on properly. No, 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 it, um... I couldn't even go through the normal search, like, I couldn't search it manually. It, I, I would click the permalink, and it would take me to a bug page, and then if I went to... What if I went out all the way back to the fucking Deacon Sink, and then I went into the library account, like library page, and then I started searching, it was still broken, and I was like, okay, never mind. Like, it had like an error code, like error, it's not a 404, but it was like an error or something. And I was like, okay, fuck this. And so I gave up for two, for two days. I submitted an extension request and went, I'm dealing with this later. And I think it was a combination of the internet being broken because it turned off incorrectly and hadn't set itself up properly after the storm, after the power outage and a combination of my computer just being mean So, because I, I think when I turned my computer off and turned it back on again a couple days later it worked again and I was like, good, thank god and so then I finished my essay and I don't know how well I went because I don't have my grade yet but I did only submit it like two days ago so you know, I wasn't expecting her to have it done. Uh, it was six days late, but she did give me an extension, so it's okay. Thank God. I might need an extension for other shit too. I hope not. Just because, ugh, fuck it. That's in, in here. Cool, Yana had held a significant amount of mainland territory. Notably, Ejwavia at the time was functionally a... Ooh, is it client or puppet? Is it client or puppet? Uh, I'm gonna look it up. Is it... So what's a client state? Right. Okay, so it's basically... Vassals. Right, okay. Oh, because like a puppet, a puppet is a type of client state. Okay. Although we're distinct. It's like, yeah. That's the, the particular dude in Macedon? Yeah. Yeah, boy. Um. Well, I guess I can use just everyone I want. I was thinking mostly puppet, just because puppet has a connotation to it. Yeah. It's a jure independent, but de facto completely dependent on an outside power. Uh, provided by the occupying country. Yeah. Well, yes, it is, it is used for critique. That's the point. That's the point here. It's a puppet state. Having been established by Kuviana some how many years before did that happen? I think this happened in no, no, okay, so it wasn't oh, no, that's separate. Um the Battle of Ajuavia. Yes. Okay. So that is 62 plague. The 62 plague. <laughs> Let's keep doing math. 
Okay, so we want... 557. Ooh, minus. No, no, that's not what I want. Uh, okay, minus zero then. Fuck you. Just so I can get the 290. Yeah. Uh, the 300. None of the time spans make sense, but don't worry about it. Here's prior. During the era. Did I link to the time thing? Have I linked to. I have. Yeah. During the era of collapse. As such. Many in Kuviana believe it, it consider Ejwavia to still be theirs. Kuviana. Ooh, actually, hold on. Let's check how long that is first. That's a long paragraph. It's a very long boy. Actually, maybe we'll just leave out the day. And Hydravia at the time was functionally a pop state, and many in Kuviana today believe it its territory is rightfully theirs. Is that gonna be a confusing sentence? I'm not sure. And then I think maybe what we'll do is we'll chuck in an image of something. But I need to think of an image. Uh, do I have any good fire images? Fire foe fum. Explosion of fire. Book burning fire. Why is Emperor, why, are, why, why is Sumi and Rion here? What are you doing here? You don't have anything to do with fire, do you? Do you? What are you doing here? I'm just confused. I forgot that I have those. I didn't actually finish that timeline. Uh, Sumi. Hello. The other one. There is no word fire in there, is there? What are you talking about? Oh, I know, because it used fur. It wasn't going fire, it was going fur. That, okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> fire. I can't read. Uh, explosion fire. Put that in there, I guess. I think that one's cute. Oh, it won't come up yet, will it? Ugh. Ugh. Saving. You're bad. You're bad about this. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. So, Kuviana is not the only northern power with eyes on the continent. And that's now it now it'll come. Now it'll show up. Yeah boy. Fireworks. <laughs> I use that for my explodey my explodey image. Okay, so Kugana is not the only northern power with eyes on the continent. Yeah. Okay. So uh, their western neighbor. Yanviku has also expressed interest in the region in the past. Similar to Kuviana, they believe that they are the rightful owners of the of Dura Sins Northwest and intend yeah, and want to restore their former glory. Unlike Kubiana, they have yet to launch any military campaigns to affirm affirm? 
need to uphold this claim. Certainly not since the North West Pact was founded. No, it was formed, maybe. This fact does not reassure the member states of the pact, however. Many on the continent believe that it is only a matter of time for either Kuviano or Vianituki. Vianituku. Um, it was actually Vianituku. <laughs> but it's been a tea cool. Um Actually, but you should be a you should be in full, shouldn't you? So you're also a monarchy. Maybe you should you should have different words for monarchy. <laughs> There's at least one diarchy going on. You know, I'm, I'm proud of them. Uh, there's at least one different monarchy style. But most of them are just republics and a couple of them are kingdoms. It's like, yeah, alright, that, that, that seems about right. Then there's the Majocracy, which is a whole other can of worms. And maybe I should write about them as well, if I get more time. Because they're in the members list. That's, that's Ukabuyav. They're in the members list. But they did also fight. Like, they done had a war. And I feel like maybe they should actually... That war should be expanded on. Because I didn't mention it in too much detail it's in here and it's basically like i guess it is two paragraphs but the actual war is only a couple months long but possibly go into more detail about the dispute because i think before i erased the sidebar i said that the dispute was quote unquote academic which i'm not sure whose framing that is to call it an academic dispute that then evolved into military conflict and all-out war for a few months, but you no, know, it is what it is. Um, I guess I could write about that as well, depending on- because I don't need to write that much more about northern aggression really, and that should fill me out, because these all need maps as well, and then that'll, you know, do things, and it'll do a whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> All of the stuff's in the sidebar bottom. It's not smart. The pain in the butt. Let me make this bigger. Oh, I can actually see. Oh. My god. So, we're gonna over Tiku. Attempt to invade. Very humorous actually studies. Setting Australian film has left me in a place of what even is national? What does it mean? You know, what what does a border mean? What does it mean to be a member of a country? You know, all that good stuff. We had that with Auslet as well. We were like, well, what counts? Because one of the books we read for Auslet was by a dude who was a Brit. Like, he's a British dude, right? But he'd moved to Australia and had been living in Australia for a while. And so it's considered Australian literature, but like, how does that work? What does it mean? <laughs> then what the hell? What's a period? What does it mean? What does any of it mean? Where do the boundaries lie? Are there even any boundaries? It's just like a big color wheel of shenanigans. Who knows? I don't. I do not have the critical ability to do that. Like it's like the <laughs> the international queer identity of singing dancing queen, apparently. Or is that Morrison? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Part of that is that because we don't live in Sydney, we do not know that. In a way. And especially because we're not in Sydney in the 70s. Because it's possible that it began as a reflection specifically of Sydney queer culture. But then, due to its surprising popularity as a film, Priscilla that is, it then sort of expanded scope in a way. Because it then became part of queer culture for other people outside of Sydney. <laughs> And so now, we now would read it as part of the international queer culture, but it wasn't. At the time. And all that sort of changing in like how history redefines things. 
Because, like, some of the books that we had to read were pretty racist, but for the time, they weren't. It's like, oh, you know. And it was popular with no Quipper. Yeah, exactly. Was it being internationally popular? Yeah. Is it a general film? What does it mean? Who knows? I, I don't. I don't know. That's just a mystery to me. It's a, it's a lot of good questions to ask, though. Like, who, who does who does art belong to? Does it matter? Does the, who the audience is change? Like, how does like the, in, the intended audience interact with the actual audience? Does that change how things are done? The answer is yes. But like, does it change how you read the the, the original text? It's like who knows? It's all a mystery. Need to evade the island of Hihukab. The last one held by Idravia is thoroughly defended as a result. Yeah, brain melts, yeah. Which is the last one held by Idravia is thoroughly defended as a result. As is most of the north coast. Do I have any swords? I have many swords. Uh, do I have any wolves? Do I have any battles? No, I mean, yes, I do. But we're gonna take the sword, then. We're looking at how the film makes its performative intention that internationality and challenge the exclusionary elements of nationality. God damn. That is... That is many things to discuss. I wish you best of luck. It'll be interesting to see how that ends out. Because you have mentioned some of it to me in the in the in the Discord chats, and it looks very interesting overall. Uh, ooh, well I actually have room to talk about the uh, the Mage Battle of Twelve Return. Oh no! Hold on, I need to fix it then. Come back to the content. I'm going to take this and put at least one of them in each one. So you need to go in there. And you need to go in there, and then that should give me a proper description of how long it is. Yeah, okay, so there is some space. I can do a short thing about the Mage War, which means I might want to change fire. No, I have a magic, I have a magic image. Well, I have a couple of magic images, actually. Magic. Well, hmm. Maybe it should be the book burn one. That should be the book burn image for that one. I think that makes sense. That mage war of twelve. Return. Then we're gonna put book, book burn, book burn. Do the thing. Um. The war, the short-lived war between Idravia and country whose name I cannot. Right, without effort, that I do not want to expend. Pavriaz. I don't know what its deal is, is my issue. I'm gonna have to figure that out. That'll have to be something I think about during the week. As to what actually caused it, because I hadn't figured that out. Because they're neighbors. They're neighboring countries. Uh, have I put Pavriaz in here? I did, yes. Oh, I have to do so many maps. Uh, but they're neighboring countries. Ukabuya is here, and Idravia is here. And this border is not how it was originally. Uh, they actually moved it. Like, during the war. They basically took here, I think. That feels about- yeah. Yeah, something like that. They took, like, that chunk, or maybe they took some of this northern bit. Because their border along the mountain's kind of weird, actually. Um, and so is this. What the fuck is happening here? <laughs> I don't know. But it's partially a border dispute, which is weird, because it's a weird time to bring that up. And then I feel like it has to be something more than just a border dispute, even though it did end up being a, a change in border as a result. Like, I assume it's like, because they're a majocracy, which is like a magic country. I'm like, okay, what does that mean? What does that mean in terms of international politics? So I'm just gonna make notes. So like, Majocracy, the new 
Jewish Republic. Why do? Academic? No, wrong one. Wrong kid. Academic dispute. Or border dispute. Did they get pissy? Was it petty? Did someone insult someone's husband? I don't know. International incident. Exceptional. Oh god, okay. So for something claimed the desert is a film that shadows the line between national and international identity. As a queer film, I need to open that back up again because it's going to scroll away from me. Uh, as a queer film, it taps into a fundamentally international culture. As an acro comedy, the film draws on a form of national identity that typically presents itself as hostile to, or at least disconnected from, the global culture. The main characters perform a kind of international drag, drawing on Amber and other pop songs, but they remain grounded as Australian in their speech. This is... etc. And then I fold that into an, into an easier essay and speech, rewrite the intro, and film and edit, and... Yeah! That's the good stuff. You got the good start for it. Fuck. <laughs> As I read out, you're like, wait, it ends in the middle of a sentence. <laughs> this is us. Because that ain't me. This is used by the film's challenge some binary and exclusionist elements of the, in Australian culture and, ult un and ultimately reveals the porous nature of culture and film. Boom. You're good. You're good. Oh good, I- we, we caught it. And I also fixed your untimely into usually. <laughs> or ultimately, rather. Not untimely, so it's, it's ultimately. That's an interesting one to correct. I don't know why I would change ultimately to untimely, but there you go. Um... Anyway. Fascinating though know that may be. It is now nearly midnight, so that's actually longer than I thought it was. I'm gonna quickly... Check this in spell check. I know we're not supposed to use other programs during, you know, fancy stuff like World Anvil stuff, but I can't check my spelling any other way, so I gotta copy it into. Yeah, boy. Spiel. There we go. I'm just gonna check to see my word count in the proper way. Like how big they would consider my words to be. So, according to. Copying words, I only have about 1,200, which is pretty good. So I'll easily slip in. Which is good. I made a lot of progress. I, I do need to make the maps, and I need to make the flags, and I need to figure out the Mage War of 12 Return. But that's fine. That's for later. But it is now nearly midnight, so... So last week, I just kept the stream running, but then I had to go edit it, and I hate editing. So I'm not doing that. <laughs> What I'll do is I'll send you all off on a raid to uh, Ryder Greg's stream, because I believe Ryder Greg is still going, because it's the uh, three-hour extravaganza of uh, riding sprints, or productivity sprints, rather, uh, for this morning. Morning. So we will be raiding Greg at midnight, and then I will stop the stream, and then I will reopen the stream so I can go play Minecraft. <laughs> I'll restart the stream after like a five minute break. Hopefully that'll actually notify. Maybe if I finish before midnight it'll notify. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll get that set up and I'll also like go grab snacks and stuff. So, actually I'll do this now. Usually I, I end at midnight but it's basically close enough. So... Because I'm going to quicker. So thank you all so much for coming. I hope you had a lovely time, whatever it is that you were doing. Whether you were riding or doing the dishes or anything. Hope you had a lovely time and that you have a lovely rest of the day. Uh, we're riding Rider Greg so you can all continue to be very productive if you want. Uh, if you don't want, I will, as soon as the I send you off on the raid, I will be stopping the stream and restarting in about five minutes to play Minecraft. So you're welcome to come back if you want. But yeah, hope you all had a lovely time. Thank you all so much for coming. Uh, we have a raid call. It is... Get ready. So they're gonna throw the toast at Greg. Thank you for coming. Have a lot of time. Bye bye.